Hi, this is Miss Wade, and I'd like to review with you what we should have learned over the last week as we did the Desmos activities for 8.1.1 and 8.1.2. The vocabulary that you should have come across is polynomial, degree of polynomial, even and odd polynomials, roots of a function, double roots or repeated factors, factored form and standard form, positive and negative orientation. What do we mean by the degree of a polynomial? You can find the degree of a polynomial that's written in standard form by looking for the largest variable exponent. In the first bullet you can see that it starts with an x squared and that's the squared term is the largest exponent. Therefore it's a second degree polynomial and we also call it an even polynomial since the degree is 2. In the fourth bullet, it starts with an x to the fifth, so that's a fifth degree polynomial, or an, and it's also called an odd polyno degree polynomial. If you look at it in factored form, you need to think about what it would look like if it were in standard form. So in the first factored form, I have x times x times 2x squared, 2x, would give me 2x to the third power, so that would be a third degree polynomial, or an odd, and also known as an odd polynomial. Each of these graphs is an odd polynomial graph. I can see that by looking at <clears throat> where the graph begins when x is small. As I travel from left to right, then x becomes very large, and we can see that the gra green graph starts in the negatives for the y values, but ends up in the positives for the y values when x is very large. Same thing with the red graph. When x is small, y is in the negative values, and as x gets larger and continues to get larger, then y, the y values become positive. In the blue graph, it's the reverse. X, when x is small, y is positive, yet it gets smaller and ends up in the negatives when x is very large. That's what happens when we have negative or we have uh, odd degree polynomials. Here, each one of these graphs is an even degree polynomial. And I can see that easily by looking at the graph. For instance, in the red graph, when x is very small, my y values are positive. And when x is very large, notice the graph is returned up to the positive. So when x is small, I'm positive, And when x is large, it's positive. Same thing with the purple graph. When x is very large, we have positive y values. And as I travel from left to right, as I go right, I end up going in the positive direction again for my y values. For the black graph, we start in the negatives. When x is very small, y is, getting, is negative. And then as we travel from left to right, notice as x gets large, the graph is headed in the negative direction again also. Okay, so the next thing that you should have realized is what the roots of a polynomial are. This is kind of review for us, but remember roots are the same as the x-intercepts, and we've worked with x-intercepts in other graphs as well. So in this graph, we have x, an x-intercept of x equal to negative 2, an x-intercept at 0, 0, and an x-intercept at 2, 0. So the next question we want to answer about graphs and their equations is why does this graph bounce off of the x um, axis at 0, 0? So notice at 0, 0, it doesn't go through the x axis, but kind of bounces off. So that's what we're going to look at next. So here we have a graph that bounces off the x axis at negative 4. We know the roots here are negative 4, 0, 0, and 2, 0. So we might think, oh, then our equation is x plus 4, that's for the factor at negative 4, x, that gives us the 0, 0 point, and x minus 2, which gives us the 2, 0 point. Um, and so, but if we were to graph that, x plus 4 times x times x minus 2, we would get this graph on the left. So here again, I have a graph that has an intercept at negative 4, 0, 0, and 2, 0. But we don't want it to go through at negative 4. We want it to bounce off like the graph on the right. 
And the way that we do that is take that factor, the factor that gives us the negative 4 intercept, which is x plus 4, and we're going to square that factor. And so now the graph on the right equation is x plus 4 quantity squared times x times x minus 2. When we look at these two graphs, I have a red graph and a blue graph here, and it looks like their equations should be the same from what we know. They both share negative 4, 0 as an x-intercept. They both share 0, 0 as an x-intercept or a root, and they both share 2, 0 as a root. They also um, bounce off of the x-intercept at negative 4. So that from what we know so far, these two graphs should have the same equation, but we know that they cannot. So we're going to be looking at an 8.1.3 uh, multipliers, things that can uh, stretch a graph. Um, we've worked with multipliers with quadratics and with exponents, and so now we're going to work with multipliers uh, with polynomial graphs, so it should feel somewhat familiar. So there's your teaser for 8.1.3.